I don't know, boy. Them Steelers better get going soon. I don't understand. I don't understand. Come on, baby. Let's get this baby fired up. God, good thing it ain't muddy in here. All right. No, oh, come on. Why won't it start? Why won't I got lights? I don't got nothing. I could see rock dusting coming up. Harvey! 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 Hey, tell me if you are. Harvey! Harvey, you gotta save me! Yeah, that's true. That's true. Section here, Jerry. We run two shuttle cars in this section. Oh, I see. Uh, I suppose this will be one of the jobs uh, I'll probably be doing, won't it, Joe? Yeah, it probably will be. How'd your new minor training go for you, Jerry? You know, that was pretty good. You know, I, I took a CPR course a couple years ago, and I kind of needed to brush up on that. I'm sure it'll help. Hey, good. That's good for you. You never know when you just might need it. Let's go up this way. Harvey, old pal, old oh, buddy no. of mine. <laughs> Best friend? What do you need now, Ron? Oh, my buggy's down. My buggy's down. And you know what happens when my buggy's down. I'm going to have to yeah, shovel yeah. my way. What do you think's wrong with it? Hey, they pay you big money for these things. Come help me out. And I mean it fast. We got to do this quick. OK, that's good. All right. What a man. What a man. What a man. Joe's coming down with a new miner today, and we we don't get this done. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I tell you. There's a spot we taped up here on Monday. I'll bet you that's it. Oh, come on. Where is that stupid... Hey, thing? here it is. Oh, I hope that's it. Ron, you go cut the power. All right. Wait here. Hey, Jerry, looks like one of our electricians up here, Harvey Rolls. Hi, Harv. Hi, boss. How you doing? Pretty good. I'd like to meet Jerry Russell, new employee. This is Harvey Rolls, one hey, of our hey, electricians Jerry. here. Hi. What's the matter? Ah, uh, problem with the cable. I sent Ron up to kill the power. You sent Ron up to kill the power? Well, you're supposed to go up there and pull the power. I know. Now go! That Ron. Oh man. Uh, let's see. Uh, this one. Okay, Bill, power's back on. Don't touch him. I gotta shut off power and get help. Get oh. away with him. 
Whoa. You don't, gotta, you gotta no, get them no, no, off. No, no, you gotta no, get them no, off. No, no, stay back. Go to the phone. Make a call outside for help. Get an ambulance. Tell them we've had an electrocution. Go. Here, stay with them, Jerry. Stay with them. I don't have a thing. I don't have a thing. Could you handle the same situation that Jerry was faced with? When was the last time you were trained in CPR? Do you remember it? Do you think you could handle that situation? It's obvious that Jerry was prepared to handle his situation. Your mind safety training can be as important to you as you want it to be. When it comes to CPR, whether it's an accident at home or an accident at work, it's important to know. It's important to understand. Look at the value of what that could really be. Obviously, accident prevention is very, very important as well. Next time, I'll cut the power and lock it out. To better understand the techniques of CPR, Jerry's going to run through the basics for us. Thank you, Ron. I hope everybody would take advantage of taking a course in CPR. However, I'm going to go over the basics now with our friend Chris Clean. Number one, you need to survey the scene for safety. Protect yourself. It was pretty obvious in the video. Two, you need to approach your victim. Shake and shout. If there's no response, you need to go into the ABCs. Airway, breathing, circulation. Airway, we need to check the airway. We use the head tilt, chin lift. We're looking for expansion of the chest. No expansion, we need to do B, breathing. Seal off the nose and breathe two quick breaths into the victim. After the two breaths, we need to check for a pulse. We slide off the, the neck area to the carotid artery and check for a pulse. If there's no pulse, we need to start CPR. First off, we need to find the lower edge of the rib cage. We need to work our way up to the sternum. This is our landmark for starting compressions. We need to do a series of 15 compressions. A couple things to remember is keep our fingertips off the rib cage. We also need to compress down on the chest approximately one and a half to two inches. Keep the elbows straight. I'm going to go through a cycle now. We'll see how it's done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Back up to the head. Head tilt, chin lift, squeeze the nose. Two breaths. Find our landmark. Fifteen compressions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Back to the head, two breaths. Four complete cycles, we need to check our carotid pulse again. Remember, once you start CPR, never stop. Unless the victim revives in some way, 
Better trained people come and assist you, or you're just too exhausted to continue. And please seriously consider a formal CPR training class. Harvey, you appreciate CPR training, huh? I sure do, Ron. Thanks a lot, Jerry. Hey, I understand you got another job. Aren't you operating bulldozers somewhere? Yeah, I am, and I'm not going to let you know where I'm working. Good thing it ain't an electric one, huh? <laughs> <laughs>